There's some big changes coming to Hamilton Roads downtown as council voted today to immediately enhance safety measures on Main and King Streets. As Nicole Martin reports, the city will eventually convert Main to two-way traffic in response to the recent rise in pedestrian injuries and deaths. Hours after protesters took to Main Street, voicing their message to drivers. Council voted 13 to 1 and passed Councillor Maureen Wilson and Narendra Nan's motion, which means immediate action will be taken. This is about saving lives. Ten people have been killed and many others have suffered serious injury from collisions on Hamilton streets this year alone. City staff are now identifying measures that can be taken to improve safety to prevent any further fatal crashes, like expanding pedestrian space, temporary lane reductions, reducing the speed limit, and reviewing the synchronized traffic signals. On matters of public safety, you act and you fix the problem. By 2023, staff will report back with an implementation plan for the two-way conversion of Main Street. Councillor Lloyd Ferguson was opposed to the idea. But I'd like to have factual data because I am going to get clobbered by people from Lancaster who use Main Street to go to work. The city's chief road official tells us the implementation plan will be shared with council early next year. I have been fearful for my life and the lives of people I care about. And to hear that people are not just fearful, but actually getting injured significantly and, and losing their lives, it's just, it's, it's angering. The, the violence just continues and it's escalating at such a rapid pace right now and it affects every single person in this city. The protest was held about a kilometer down the road from where the darts bus driver was killed last week, and those attending the rally today say they were thinking of the loved ones lost in this city. Imagine your best friend just turned 49, and on the next morning, as a dedicated accessible transit service driver, carrying out her service as she's been doing for the past 20 years, was struck and killed by a driver who jumped the curb. Councillor Nan says the majority of pedestrians who were hit in Hamilton were legally crossing the road. Four of the 10 who've died this year were people who were killed on sidewalks. In the past five years, council says 70 lives were lost on city streets. 26 were pedestrians and two were cyclists. The report found King and Maine were the most dangerous streets in Hamilton. Nicole Martin, CHCH News.